Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is the hardest time of day to film in because I feel like it's the afternoon sun and it's like really bright if I'm here but like really dark otherwise. So if the lighting's really bad I do apologise. It is my uni induction week this week. I have two online days of an induction coming up and so I thought I would do another sort of weekly vlog and just show you how I prepare for that but also show you the during and then like a little catch up after and also over the weekend I'll be preparing to be actually going into uni like face to face next week which is exciting so I feel like this week is going to be an emotional roller coaster and I thought I would share it with you. So I did actually film some bits yesterday but I didn't really speak on the camera at all. I just sort of had a very chill getting ready, preparing for the week ahead and just did a few bits around the house and like my room and getting myself sorted. So there wasn't too much to film. The same as today really, I feel like I'm just going to pick specific bits of each day to film so I'm not just like sharing everything and making the video ridiculously long. But today I have mainly been preparing some work to show for the induction day tomorrow and the day after. I'm not actually sure when I'll have to show the work but I'm really nervous about it and so I just feel like I've been putting a lot of my time and effort into that. So that's mainly what I've been doing today. And then the main event today is that Bake Off is tonight and I am unbelievably excited. I think I might actually do some baking so that we can eat some like baked goods whilst we're watching it. I can't wait. That is literally, I feel like Bake Off is just like the kickoff of autumn and that makes me so happy. I absolutely love that. And I feel like it will also be the perfect chilled evening for my night before I start uni tomorrow. It's online tomorrow but I'm still excited and I still booked the day off today of work just so that I could completely get myself ready and just feel prepared. I got this for my birthday. It's called the Bottled Baking Co. So company and I thought I would bake these today so that we can eat them whilst we're watching Bake Off and they are, it says, Irresistible White Chocolate and Raspberry Tray Bake Mix. So I'm very excited to make these and to find out what they taste like because this just looks amazing. I also hopefully have some exciting deliveries coming this week so I'm hoping I can show you those too. It's probably just gonna be a very chilled mismatch of everything vlog so if that's your kind of thing just like a relaxing bit of everything bit of normal life then keep watching and like this video if you enjoy it and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Preheat oven done. Grease or lime. Oh, I need to put the shepherd's pie in. Oh, that cupboard stresses me out. So, I have just got off my first online meeting thing for my course and it was good, it was just like your general induction, like library inductions, chatting through how the course is like set out for everyone, like all master's degrees, not necessarily just mine. So it was very general information, still good though. 
wasn't too long, so that's fine. I am so hungry, so I'm gonna have my tea, eat these biscuits, and then make myself some lunch. Does anyone else like eat something in preparation to make themselves their meal? Like you have a snack to sort of like pass the hunger until the time that your meal is ready? Just me? Because I literally do that. I like even snack my way through like whilst I'm making it, not even necessarily before. <laughs> this is just forward planning. But I also discovered on the call this morning that I'm actually on campus tomorrow, which I did not know. I thought we had an online meeting again tomorrow morning, but turns out we're actually on campus. I thought we were online tomorrow and then like exactly a week tomorrow would be my first day on campus. I was wrong, I read it wrong, and I'm on campus tomorrow, so this changes the whole dynamic of today. <laughs> I'm in work today, but luckily I finish way earlier than I usually do, so I'm going to definitely be washing my hair tonight. And do you know when you like pre-style your hair in the evening because you know you haven't woken up early in ages and I'm just not gonna have time to get ready properly, so yeah. I planned to film a reel this week of like, pick my outfit for my first day of uni, and I was gonna post it early next week, or going in on Thursday. But I'm going in tomorrow now, so it looks like I'm gonna have to pick my own outfit. The good news about it though is that I'm having an okay pain week this week, not necessarily every aspect of every day it's been horrendous at times but like generally i'm much better this week than i have been past weeks i'm still uncomfortable i'm still in pain i literally have my bean bag here and i'm like maxed out on painkillers but it's a good week if you get what i mean so i was slightly nervous yesterday that i was having a good pain week this week so next week could potentially be awful, which would be my first time into uni and I'd need to drive and I was worried about potentially not being able to drive. But hopefully the pain stays away until tomorrow so I can at least get through tomorrow fine and then go from there because at least then I can speak to my tutor tomorrow and let them know and just pre-warn them basically that my attendance could be awful. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But that is exciting. I all of a sudden feel very underprepared. I feel overwhelmed with the amount of information I've just taken in. But it's exciting, I guess. And I'm going to meet my course mates tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. And excitingly enough, I thought this was like my last vlog before uni, but turns out it's not and I'm in uni tomorrow, so we'll see how much I film. Also, I forgot to say last night, the thing that we were baking was like a tray bake cake, and it was obviously cake week in Bake Off, so we were eating the cake whilst watching Bake Off, and I meant to film a clip for you guys to see, but I was way too involved with Bake Off, and I forgot to do that. But let me know in the comments down below if you watched the first episode of Bake Off, and what you thought i literally thought it was absolutely hilarious it was so entertaining i feel like they're a really funny group so i think this year is going to be so fun and i already have favorite obviously but we'll see <laughs> good morning i start uni today i am tired and excited and scared <laughs> This feels like a weirdly formal angle, but I have finished my first day on campus in uni and I am exhausted. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just like mentally drained. I feel like I just took in so much information about like the next term and I am so tired. But I thought I'd show you my outfit. This is the worst angle to show you my outfit. So when I go upstairs in a minute, I'll show you it in the video fully and I'll just like overlay it on this clip because I feel like that'll be the best way to show you. But I just got this white short sleeved, just basic plain t-shirt over a black like ribbed knitted jumpsuit, which is like 
culotte length, I guess, and it like flares out those little frills at the bottom. It's like super comfy. And then I've just got my docks on and then I wore this oversized denim jacket that I got from Monkey just over the top in case it got cold. And then and that's it really. I just thought that this would be like the best outfit for maximum comfort because I have nothing around my waist, but also like looks nice. I look presented, it's not like joggers and a hoodie. Although, give me a week and I'll probably be in joggers and a hoodie because that's just what everyone does. Then the best part is this new bag that I've bought and I don't think I showed you when it got here. Uh, I got it from Oliver Bonus. It is the softest, like, leather look like material. I'm not actually sure if it is leather. I don't think it is because of how soft it is. Like it feels so soft. It's like a rectangle bag, but triangle at the side. Like it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. It is a backpack. So it has your backpack straps. And then it's also got these two handles so you can like hold it as well. And then it's just got the main zip at the top, which like opens up, there's a little pocket inside and it's like really spacious it's actually so much bigger than it looks like it's so much bigger than you think it would be then i've got this front pocket here which is actually so handy to keep my painkillers in because they're like easily accessible and separate from everything else and i feel like my student card and my mask are gonna be like perfect in this little pocket so i feel like everywhere everything just has its own little space it just works well and then there's this pocket on the side that like there's more space at the back as well at the moment i've literally just got a carmex in there because why not but i just absolutely love it i feel like it's just so pretty i may or may not have spilled ketchup on it when i went out for lunch so i'm hoping i like wiped it off but i'm hoping that doesn't stain <laughs> But yeah, so I just literally went to uni, did like an overview of what this module, what module I'll be doing on this day every week for this term, like up until Christmas, which is crazy. And then I do like a different module on a Monday. So I have two modules running side by side from now until Christmas. So it was just kind of like an overview of how this module is going to work and what we're going to be talking about and just like questions, getting to know people on the course. It's like a really small course, which I feel like is so nice. And then I just went to Tesco because I needed some more painkillers and I got some highlighters because I saw that they did pastel highlighters. So I've picked those up. Then I went out for coffee and lunch with a friend and I'm home now. Just going to relax for a little bit, sort myself out unpack everything from uni and then i'm actually going out for dinner with a friend to wagamama's the best place in the world and i feel like it's just going to be a pretty chilled one and then tomorrow i have zero plans and i'm hoping to do nothing because i just feel like i haven't even had a busy week it's like the first week of uni so it's like the quietest week of all the uni weeks but i feel like just because it's the first and because we've had like a year of lockdown and then I've got into like my routine of just working. I think it's just really taken it out of me. But I was so happy that I was able to drive in. The moment I got in the car, I was like, ooh, is this a bad idea? Should I have driven? Should I get the bus? And then it like settled a bit. So I just continued driving. It was like just my baseline pain. It didn't get too crazy. And then I managed to find a really close parking space which was just amazing. So I didn't have to walk very far. I wasn't late, I was early, which is just another amazing thing because I just don't like being late to things. <laughs> it just makes me so stressed and then I get there and I'm warm and I'm flustered and it went really well and I feel like my pain didn't disturb me too much and I also let my lecturer know. So I feel like the cards are on the table. Like everyone knows my situation now, so I feel a lot more relaxed about that side of things because like everyone's aware, like if I'm not in, I'm not just like not in uni. It was good though. I enjoyed, it was like exciting. I was just sat there and I was like, I'm actually just so excited to do this. It was almost like a confirmation that this was the right decision. So that was really nice. I have had a very slow morning. 
very slow. Had a big lie-in, just had some breakfast, and I really, really need to wash my hair and just sort myself out. My room looks like I've just had a busy week. There is stuff everywhere. <laughs> it literally reflects how my week has been, to be honest. So I'm gonna do like a bit of that today, but first I really need to wash my hair. I have so much dry shampoo in my hair that it doesn't even feel like it's attached to my body. Like it just, it doesn't even feel like hair. It feels very dry. So I think a hair mask and just a hair wash is needed. Shower, feel it, I need to just feel refreshed for work later and then hopefully have like a chill productive day like not a hard productive day but just sort of like get things done but like in no rush and not like the massive tasks either i wanted to show you this new hair product that i've been using it is a pre-wash treatment it is from the company hair syrup i found them on tiktok and basically what it is is you put it in your hair, all over your hair, comb it through with a wide tooth comb or like brush or something uh, and then leave it sit for an hour or more and it just basically, it says on it, pre-wash treatment, deeply nourish, boost shine and prompt dreamy lengths and I feel like it just massively helps with the health of your hair and it just makes my hair so soft and so, so shiny. <laughs> I love it and I've got the Rapunzel and the vitamin C me one and I think they both have the same scent and they are just incredible they smell so good I found them on TikTok and Matt actually got me the you grow girl gift set for my birthday so I've been using them I've used them twice since then and I absolutely love them I love how they make my hair feel I'm not going to use them today because I need my hair to dry in time for work so I need to wash it like now rather than letting that soak in and then washing it later but I had to tell you because I just love it so much. Much better. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, it looks a little crazy, but at least it's clean. Now, it's time to sort this out. I swear this is a weekly occurrence. I have just had a very exciting parcel arrive and I'm gonna show you quickly because I really need to get ready for work my hair is still wet but I couldn't not show you so this is one of the parcels I was on about that will be coming this week and Tia so I'm gonna show you I have ordered some gym wear pieces not that I really go to the gym at the moment but you know future plans and you know what I can chill in these clothes at home anyway but I've just purchased some gym wear sports wear from a new brand that I've never tried before uh, called I believe it's pronounced Honor if it's not I'm sorry but Honor Active it could be pronounced Wanna Active but I'm not too sure uh, and they just released some new colours and I really wanted some but I was in work when it released so I kind of just went onto the website after and just kind of got what I could. So I've only got two pieces and only one of the pieces is from the new colours but I'm not mad about it and I'm really excited to see like the quality and how these feel and oh gosh sorry and all that jazz. So let's open the puzzle up. Oh god why is this so hard? I'm in kind of. I feel a bit bright but I'm just gonna roll with it. So the first 5,000 people that ordered from this new collection got crunchies of all- crunchies? <laughs> got three scrunchies of each of the new colours and because I was obviously in work I have not got the scrunchies but would have loved some but I'll get over it. Yeah so as I said there were three new colours, um, I think they were Sweetie, Berry Bloom and Rosewood and I got the berry bloom as you can see it is like a really bright pink it's kind of like a ready pink but more just like bright pink oh my god i can't believe the color oh my gosh they're so nice that is the nicest color really thick waistband i love the branding it's so simple but it's just so nice so that's like rubber branding there and it's also on one of the calves as well i don't know if you can see that cuffed ankles i got a size small i believe small short length classic seamless leggings berry bloom so this is what they look like really nice 
rib waistband. I feel like that's just gonna fit so nicely. The color is amazing. And then there's a bit of shaping on the bum as well. I'm not gonna have time to try these on today, but I'll try them on tomorrow or Sunday. So they'll be in this video anyway. So just keep your eyes peeled. They'll be back. Also really thick and soft and like the quality just feels amazing. I feel like I always get nervous buying some new gym wear brands that I haven't tried before just in case, but it all seems so good so far. Yeah, I didn't manage to get the Berry Bloom sports bra, so I decided to go for the the just classic sports bra in black marl because I thought if I get more of their leggings, if I like them, then at least this will go with all of the colours. And also, I feel like you can never have too many black sports bras because they just go with everything. I absolutely love the design of these sports bras. Like, on the Instagram and stuff, they just look so nice on everyone. And it's got the same branding on the back. It's a really, like, low scoop back. I feel like you'll be able to see better when I'm wearing it. But it's like a racer back. These cross over, but I feel like I've seen people wearing the straps differently as well so you don't have to wear them like that and then it just kind of like scoops down for a really low back so the strap at the back isn't actually as thick as like a normal sports bra but i feel like that's gonna look so nice and then it's got padding removable padding and i also got this in a small so hopefully I'll be able to try these on soon. Look how nice the colours are. Honestly, the quality is so good. If you've heard of this brand and you're scared to try them because of the quality and it's a brand that you've never heard before or just heard of, from just feeling them and not even trying them on, I would recommend. And they do student discount. I'm gonna have a really chilled day today, I think. I'm in work later, so I think until then I'll just sort of do, like, I'll probably just put friends on. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, and then I think I'll just get myself ready for next week and just sort through what I have on what days so I can, like, mentally prepare myself for the week ahead and just get myself feeling a bit more ready and just so that I've like got it written down what I would like to do on what days and now also like what I want to be doing in between lectures so like what I want to read or look up or whatever before lectures or from this lecture to the other one and just sort of like map that out a little and then probably also content planning because I feel like now that I'm in uni I'm not just doing work I feel like it's going to be difficult or more difficult to just like randomly decide on a day to do this certain content or vlog on this day I feel like it's going to have to be slightly more pre-planned so I might just give that a go today but literally like watching friends very chilled no pressure and just do like you know the boring life admin stuff that you just have to do sometimes probably gonna be a little bit of a of one of those days before work later anyway and then tomorrow i think i'm gonna go to home sense matt is staying over tonight and then my sister is also free tomorrow so i think we're gonna go to home sense and i'm very excited about that so obviously i'll take you along and show you what I get if I get anything. And I know I still need to try the new active wear on. I promise I will do that. I will do that ASAP. It will be in this video, I promise you. I just don't know if it will be today or tomorrow, but it's fine, I will do it. I also forgot to say that when we went to St. Ives in July, I just completely forgot about my plants and thought that they would be fine because I have a lot of succulents or like succulent type plants so I didn't really think about it but over the past year literally from like just before the first lockdown started so it's been like a year and a half I guess I was growing two avocado plants and I just didn't think it through to be honest so I've lost those <laughs> I'll show you they're still on my windowsill because I just can't bring myself to get rid of them because I just feel so bad oh gosh prepare yourself 
look at them they're so sad so this is the one of them and then the other one oh my gosh it just makes me so sad my lemon tree survived somehow but oh i'm so upset about the avocado trees they just i don't know here's all my plants in case you were wondering <laughs> This guy's grown so much recently, he was tiny. So yeah, I was devastated about that, but yesterday I had avocado on toast, so I'm gonna start a new one. So I just got a little jug of water, bottle of water even, with my avocado seed in the top. So yeah, take three. <laughs> Third time lucky, as they always say. So yes, I need to do some more Googling of how long to leave so obviously you leave it in the water until you can see the roots growing but then also I feel like you have to have some leaves before you plant it I just need like a refresher because it's been a while and obviously my last ones went so well they were doing so well I'm actually so disappointed but there we are <laughs> it has been a fair few days since I picked up the camera and I'm sorry but hi <laughs> I ended up having a really rocky weekend pain wise and I just didn't vlog at all. I started my third period of the month. I was so uncomfortable Saturday night and all of Sunday. It's Monday today and I'm still uncomfortable but I think I'm like getting there. Like I'm less uncomfortable today than I was yesterday for sure so hopefully that continues to go down. I think just because it's so uncomfortable for me that my periods really take it out of me and I'm sure if you're watching this and you're in a similar situation you can completely understand and to have three in the space of three weeks I just I just had no energy I had nothing to give I literally just I don't even think I moved yesterday Matt, bless him, took me out for brunch to cheer me up because I was very emotional. And then after that, there was a Meg shaped dent in the sofa. <laughs> so that is how my weekend went. I'm still uncomfortable today, but I am determined to show you the new active wear. So I'm going to try that on now. Let's go. Let's see what all the fuss is about. I am so gutted that I can't train at the moment and that I can't go to the gym <laughs> because these are so nice. Let me show you. Okay, so the colour of the leggings is probably not going to come out on the camera right, which is really annoying because it's such a nice pink. I can already tell it just it's so much nicer in person. I also I'm gonna have to make this really quick because they're so compressing which is good and like when I am in the gym and I'm training and able to train I love that and that is what I look for but also that is not ideal for my situation right now because it's really squishing things that don't want to be squished. <laughs> And I, it's, it's, I'm going to be crampy. <laughs> this is why I don't wear jeans or anything tight around the waist. But anyway, they are, it's just the lighting right now. Also, I've not chosen the best time of day. I do apologise. But like the shape, the cut, the material, how compressing it is, the fit, like the feel, everything is just so nice. There, so the, there's what I thought was a ribbed waistband is actually there's just like a little bit of ribbed on this side and a bit on here and then that continues down the quad slightly but it's not ribbed on the quad that's like the contour which when I was holding them I didn't see and it's actually so nice love the logo love the colour love the fit that's the back of the leggings I actually just love them so much I feel like they're the perfect length they fit really nicely I love this on the calf they're so flattering the quality is amazing little logo here and obviously here removable pads I've kept them in just so I could see what it looked like with them in I love these two colors together but I also 
feel like I'm going to be getting some more pieces. <laughs> like, I am definitely down for having some of the black leggings because I just feel like that would be so nice. I love that the whole strap is like this elasticated material. And then the back, if I can show you. I mean, obviously the label is there. That will not be there once I've taken it off can see my little tattoo which is cute I love that and I really like how thin this strap is so that it doesn't let me stand for the back do you see what I mean like that looks so nice it's not too bulky and I love the crisscross I feel like that is just oh I just love it I literally have no words I'm actually shocked as to how much I love it wow I'm sold I am sold for sure I cannot wait to train in this. <laughs> I mean, I can't wait to train, but especially in this. Yes, the back is so pretty. I love a cross back. Right, I need to take this off. <laughs> I can't believe it's taken me that long to try their gym wear, but safe to say it was worth the wait and I will definitely be purchasing more pieces but i've now put my pajamas on <laughs> even though it's like 6 p.m and i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening and probably watch some youtube videos i'm hoping that i will edit this today tomorrow and the day after and get it up on wednesday but we will see we'll see how these days go and how productive i am able to be Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that giving an insight into my realistic week gives you some comfort if you're in the same position or if I am sharing a coping mechanism or just something that I have done that you haven't tried and you think to give that a go then I hope that you are able to get something out of these videos or if it's just purely for entertainment <laughs> but thank you for following along with my journey regardless and I'm hoping and I feel like I say this every week but I'm really hoping and I feel like it should be this week will be the week that I will get my consultant appointment letter it should be so cross everything and we'll see Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and as always thank you so much for your endless support on Instagram and on here as well. If you want to keep up with my chronic pain diagnosis journey and just how I try to manage my pain whilst also studying a master's and working part-time then Make sure to subscribe so you can see more of my content and also let me know down below what you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you soon. Bye!